Hello, this is Seneca Harris, and I'm coming to you with another video commentary brought to you by the Urban Wire Media Network, where we shine the light on issues impacting the urban community. And one of the topics that we want to shine light on today is the issue of suicide and mental health, particularly in the African American community. It saddens me to bring you the news that um, Socialite and um, YouTube commentator by the name of Tyree Williams, and he was affectionately known by his supporters and his fans as Ty Couture or the Bishop. And um, November 1st, we found out that he committed suicide. Now, there hasn't been many details released to the public as yet, as of yet, pertaining to um, what led up to it, who found him, or anything else, but regardless to all of that, this is just a very sad situation. It's a major loss, um, particularly to the black sector of YouTube, the gay black sector as well. Um, he was a very um, well-known influencer. You know, he was a hairstylist. He was a designer. You know, his YouTube commentaries were always hilarious. They were on point. But he also shed light on a lot of issues that impacted a lot of um gay black males some of the struggles that we go through as far as relationships and his um his struggle with mental health and depression you know what i'm saying and su suicidal thoughts you know this is something that we don't like to talk about mental health is something particularly in the african-american community that we sweep under the rug and you know we saw through his videos that he he, he had his struggles you know he had his ups and his downs, you know, um, he went through a couple of tumultuous, tumultuous um, relationships. You know, he was married to a guy and then there was another um, gentleman that he was in a relationship after um, he separated from his husband. But, you know, nobody really knows what led up to it, you know, um, and it just goes to show you no matter how successful you are, you know, no matter how uh, somebody may appear to be happy, they may appear to have it all together. We never know what is going on after that camera cuts off. You know what I'm saying? And that's why we really have to uh, treat each other with respect. We have to check on each other. You know what I'm saying? And it's just sad that, you know, looking back, you know, hindsight is 2020. We see that his videos were kind of like a cry for help. You know what I'm saying? And it's just very sad that a lot of these people that that followed him, nobody checked up on him. Nobody uh, made sure that he was okay. You know, his last video was like about a couple months ago. But it just really um, affected me because I really followed him. He was very funny. Like, he was always uplifting. And even when he was going through his trials and tribulations and he, you know, made videos talking about um, mental health and, you know, his struggles, it was still an inspiration to me. You know what I'm saying? I think he was a positive role model for a lot of LGBT youth and just gay black men in general or just gay people in general or just people in general, period. Let's just put it like that. Um, he will definitely be missed. And we really have to take the issue of mental health and um suicide serious like you know we live in a culture particularly in the african-american community and people of color in general you know we we come from families where we don't believe in going to therapists or telling people your business and this that and the other but we have to break that cycle and we have to let people know that it is okay to speak out it is okay to let people know what's going on. We have to break the cycle of abuse. We have to break the cycle of, you know, what stays in this house stays in this house. What happens in this house stays in this house. We have to get out of that because we are losing people right and left. And like I said, you don't know what anybody's going through. So that's why we have to really be mindful in how we address people, how we talk to people. Um, and just because somebody appears to be well, just because somebody appears to be successful does not mean that we should not check in on these people. Because the thing about suicide and depression is not dependent on 
material things and what you have. A lot of times, it, it you know, it's it, it's a internal struggle that a lot of people keep to themselves, and over time that builds up, and by the time you know, you know, by the time you know we we know about it, it's too late. So we have to do wellness checks on each other. Reach out to those that you know, um, particularly people that are in the public light. You know, they have an image to uphold. You know what I'm saying? They want, you know, they try to be perfect, but sometimes inside, you know, they feel like they're not perfect. And I, I feel that he struggled with that. You know, and I just want to thank him for his life. I just, you know, I want to send out condolences to his family, his friends. His fans, you know what I'm saying? He is, he'll definitely be missed. And I just want to do this quick video. I didn't want to do anything extravagant. I just want to uh, just tell people that suicide and depression is real. And at the end of this video, I'm going to give the number to the National Suicide Prevention um, Hotline. If you know anybody that is dealing with depression, if you know anybody that has put out cries for help or has threatened to take their life don't take that stuff lightly you know what i'm saying like i just i just rather uh be on the side of caution you know what i'm saying so uh i just want to tell everybody to keep your head up if you need to talk to somebody reach out to somebody you know what i'm saying you know it's, don't let these people bring you to the point to where you want to take your life or harm yourself because nobody is worth it. Nobody's worth your life. There's nobody like you. You are a unique person. God loves you. And, you know, and there are people out here that are willing to help you. So until next time, you know, just keep the family lifted up in prayer and we'll be back with another commentary soon. The National Suicide Prevention Lifeline, 1-800-273-TALK, is a United States-based suicide prevention network of 161 crisis centers that provide 24-7, toll-free hotline available to anyone in suicidal crisis or emotional distress. If you see something, say something. If you're going through depression or have suicidal thoughts, please reach out to someone. There's people out there that are willing to help. You can also visit them at www.suicidepreventionlifeline.org. Do not let this death be in vain. Taco Taco Tour would definitely want you to reach out to someone, and there are people out here that are willing to help and that are willing to listen to you and get you the help that you need. Thank you for listening.